Watch this. Oh my god, I knew my girlfriend was a hoe. Don't say that. Don't speak. Relax, that. relax, relax. If you had to cheat on your boyfriend with one guy in the entire world, who would it have to be? Ian Summerholder, Harry <laughs> Styles, MGK. I would never cheat on my boyfriend. He's the love of my life. Aww. <laughs> She's lying. But guys, this clip lets you know that every woman, including your girlfriend or wife, has a guy who she truly desires. Just that one guy. He might not be a celebrity. He might be an athlete. He might be a rapper. He might be uh, actor, whatever. But she wants to hook up with some guy. She would jump ship, leave her family, leave you just to have 60 seconds with that guy. What is your body count? Like... Let's see, I was 19, but then I slept with three guys recently. So 22. 22? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's way, that's really high. I thought it was less than that. You think so? Yeah, that's really high. <laughs> guys, do your research. Your woman got some bodies in that closet that she's gonna hide from you and say, I already slept with like three or four guys. Now, if you look at this chick, she looks pretty normal, right? Average everyday girl, like she don't get out like that. But these are the ones that, be piling up the bodies they be sleeping around the most what's the shadiest thing you ever done break up with my boyfriend and go out with his best friend his bestie yeah. sheesh hey man nah grabbing the camera like that was fucking crazy i don't give a you, fuck you could have asked friend. him you could at least oh, be like hey you got it in her face you didn't ask so i don't want to I, I, I did ask did him. he ask you yo, yo yo friend gonna fuck up yo yo bless him what is your craziest college experience watching a five sum when was that the beginning like like the first week of college you'll never find another girl like me ever again <laughs> there's no one else like me <laughs> oh my god if you could say something to your ex right now what would it be um i hope you're good he was like he was amazing actually he was an amazing guy he was amazing yeah then why you lost feelings he just wasn't it for me but he's a really good guy amazing guy what can men do to avoid a situation like that they're amazing guy really they do everything right you can do like it's just like your feelings like there's absolutely nothing he can and this is why it's scary to the woman because they operate on feelings and emotions so you can be the perfect guy on paper. You can pay her bills. You can take her out to dinner. You can buy her gifts. You can do everything you're supposed to do. And she still will leave you and go back out to the streets and be a 304 because she feels like, but she's going to regret it. Trust me. I treat you like a queen and be the best guy ever, but like you just, I don't know. You, you can't do that? It's nothing. Who are more loyal, men or women? I think men if they're on love. Why do you think so? Because women often are searching for missing things in their life and other men's. If men are in love, they're giving everything to women. We have another phone swap loyalty test here. <laughs> you guys are going to get a kick out of it. Take a listen. Y'all a couple? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. How long y'all been together? Like three months. Three months? Yeah. You trust her? What we doing? You trust her? Yeah, what we doing? I bet. We're going to put that to the test today. We're going to switch phones for 60 seconds to see if you guys actually trust each other. Who's going to go first? Oh, no, you don't say that. You say <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't she speaking English and then she flipped to Spanish? Take a listen again, man. So Y'all a couple? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. How long y'all been together? Like three months. Three months? Yeah. So you trust her? What we doing? You trust her? Yeah, what we doing? I bet. We're going to put that to the test today. We're going to switch phones for 60 seconds to see if you guys actually trust each other. Who's going to go first? Oh, no, you don't say that. You say that it was something funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is funny. Psych. Who's going to go first? What the hell? What happened? See, uh, trying to I need that Y'all not trying to do it? I'm you good. You got to see I'm if you got a loyal one, bro. I'm, I'm with it. I'm okay, with it. Bring up the phone, then. Well, bring out your phone. Check out, check your phone. All right, come on, bro. You know what password? No. I don't. Oh, unlock it. Why are you doing that? Unlock it. Why are you doing that? Unlock it, bro. You gotta check, bro. I'm, no, I'm saving I'm you, King. <laughs> no. What you he gotta leave, man. He gotta go. <laughs> Even if it's three months, still, he gotta go. These chicks be having rosters of dudes. They always talking to somebody. Women need attention. I'm not sure why nobody wants to speak up about this, but I guess I'll be the one to do it. There is a serious shortage of attractive, eligible, mentally stable, emotionally available men. We need to get a search party together, figure out what has happened, where have they gone, and what do we do about this? Because 
what she means translation is I want the top 10% of men. Every woman wants that top tier guy, but there's not enough of them, right? So these women think that they're fine. They think they're all tens, but they don't qualify for those men up there. She's another average everyday looking chick. She just got some makeup on. So don't try to gas her up. And she's like, well, all these attractive guys who are, who are you know, good looking, and everything like that. Well, those guys are probably taken. Those guys probably just want to hook up. And, and women, they don't see themselves as average. They think they're above average, fine, super attractive. So then they think the average everyday guy is, is not uh, eligible to date them. This is why so many women are single due to the 80-20 rule. It was 80-20 rule. Now it's 90-10. Now 90% of women are all going for the top 10% man. Why did you pick up with your ex? Because I got really bored. Damn, what? You know, guys, I've had women tell me this exact thing right out of their mouth. I'm like, so what happened? Why'd y'all break up? You know, I was just, you know, I don't know. And they keep saying, I don't know. They say, well, I was just kind of bored. I don't know. He just wasn't doing much. And it's like, as a man, when you get a relationship, it's like you got to entertain these women. They need constant stimulation. They will leave you if you go to, to the gym, if you got a job, or if you just, you know, in your man cave or playing a video game. Women don't like peace. They need some sort of friction, something going on. This is why they love reality shows. This is why they love drama TV, because it gives them that fix. And if you can't give them that fix, guys, you can be perfect on paper. Just like the previous clip that I showed you, she will leave you. Who's your friend? Hey, my little baddie friend. Hey. Your little what? My friend from the sandbox days. I've been with her though. It's actually gonna be fun because I ain't seen her in mad long. Your baddie friend from the sandbox days? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure y'all will get along. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you have to bring her though? You think I'm gonna just be sitting there? Oh, he's kissing you, licking Who's, you. He's not kissing you, bro. Touching you. You he's think not I'm gonna just be, me, kissing You think me, I'm gonna like... just be sitting there? Nah, you bug. I ain't gonna lie. Who is this friend of yours? Bro, it's just a friend I've been had. Well, why is this the first time I hear about her? Because it's just a friend I've been had. What the heck? I've random. known him from the sandbox days, too. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Y'all 12 days old. If we knew each other when we were little, we would have been friends since the sandbox, too. Yeah, but we didn't, though. So. Okay, but that's your fault. How is it my fault? I don't know, but it is. It's nothing to do with me, bro. 